Hello everyone, my name is David Colon, and these are my core ideas. Welcome back to Car Ideas, episode 5. Today, we're going to discuss a Mercedes R172 illuminated star. As you can see right here, this is the old star that I've uh, taken out of the car, and you can see that it has the honeycomb texture inside of it. I actually wanted one that did not have that. I wanted one with the flat surface, and that's what we have here. This star was $70. I ordered it off of eBay. I'll post the contact information in the description. The star came in about seven days. Here's what the back looks like. It's pretty simple, um, just ground and power. These connectors are always very convenient, that way if you ever need to remove it for any reason um, or replace it, you can easily. This star does not change colors. I know it's some of them do. This part comes off. This is packaged really, really well. Um, I didn't feel the need to do an unboxing just because it's really just this that comes in a box. Something that I want to give you guys a heads up about is the eBay ad. The eBay ad shows these pictures, but this isn't actually what the star looks like, obviously. That was something that I was concerned about when I purchased it initially, but it actually does look like this. Um, here, it looks like it's just a printed image, but it's not. Obviously. I know that Mercedes does make some stars like this. Personally, I'm not a big fan of them, um, but they are out there. But So this is what it will actually look like. And this is compatible with a wide variety of different models. And here they are. So you can just pause this because I'm not going to read all that off. you're gonna have is this opening right here in order to remove this you can just stick your hand in the groove um, and just twist and it'll pop out you may need to apply a little bit of pressure but it will come out now I didn't install this um, I had it professionally done um, I use that term loosely because it's a very ugly installation in my personal opinion. You can ignore this, this is the cord for my front camera. Um, here's the power wire, I just had to tape up that because it was split. Here's the ground. The power wire. So the reason why I didn't install this personally is because I genuinely don't like to tap in wires. I don't like touching anything involving the electrical system in this car, but I figured that I would show it to you guys and hopefully this may help somebody else later on down the road. Once you connect the two plugs, then you'll just put this in and just give it a good twist. Lock it in place and then put the chrome piece on top. And once it snaps in, it's really snug and secure. It's not gonna go anywhere, move, water doesn't get into it or anything like that. Now, if you do have a front-facing camera or you plan on getting a front-facing camera, you need to make sure that you have adequate space. The reason why I say that is because I know a lot of people like to hide their front-facing camera in the star. Well, obviously this isn't gonna be an option. So mine is currently above my star, but I'm gonna move it, that way it'll be below. In the bottom area there, between the daytime running lights. Now, based off of the way that I had the wires run in this car, it does turn on as soon as I unlock the doors with the remote when it's nighttime. It will not turn on during the daytime. And that's because it's connected, I believe, to these orange parking lights. Those orange parking lights don't turn on during the daytime. So I think that that's how, I think that that's what it's actually connected to, but I don't know for sure. But uh, you can hook it up however you want. I just figured that I would show you how it was installed in mine. Um, 
As far as the color is concerned, the color does match almost identically to the daytime running lights. So it looks like a, uh, a stock upgrade. But um, that's pretty much it. I hope that this helps out a lot of people. I know that a lot of folks have questions about this. And um, I hope that this was useful to you guys. But thanks a lot. Make sure that you guys comment, subscribe, like, and uh, share with a friend. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day.